The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all. Jammu Kashmir election results trend uh, suggests that PDP and AIP, the two regional uh, forces in South and North Kashmir, are actually headed for a route. Mahbuba Mufti's daughter Iltija is set to lose her electoral debut from Beach Bihara, while AIP chief engineer Rashid's brother is barely scraping through in Langit. So what do these trends mean for the region's political landscape uh, post Article 370 abrogation and can these parties recover from this potential setback? Uh, well, uh, you know, what seems to have happened in the valley, in, in the Kashmir region, uh, which has 47 seats uh, after delimitation, is a very, very strong anti-BJP sentiment, uh, which has driven the electoral results. So anybody who was seen as, uh, you know, a BJP proxy, that's a term that's very commonly used in the valley, uh, that, you know, where the BJP cannot win, it will feel the proxy to win. Uh, so the, anyone who has the taint of being a BJP proxy or whose victory people think, you know, that after winning, this person might switch loyalties or might extend support to the BJP. Uh, all those people have lost or performed very poorly or, you know, they've, if they have won, they've won from a very, very wafer thin margin. Uh, so, you know, when engineer Rashid won from the Baramula Lok Sabha seat, he won by a margin of over 2 lakh. And he won that election while he was still in jail. Uh, and he won that against Omar Abdullah. That's not a, a mean fiat to achieve. But what happened? And a lot of people thought that, you know, when he said that his party, the Awami Ittehad Party, the AIP, is going to field 34 candidates, bulk of them in North Kashmir, uh, which is the Baramulla region, uh, a lot of people thought that, you know, this is recipe for a hung verdict. Uh, Engineer Rashid's party is going to break away, uh, you know, votes from the NC in North Kashmir. If the PDP manages to, uh, you know, revive in South Kashmir, the PDP will win certain seats and the National Conference will be able to just retain its hold over Central Kashmir. And so perhaps a lot of the voters, while I was traveling in JNK and particularly in the valley, a lot of people told me that we will not take a chance with anybody we do not trust to uh, ally with the BJP. And in fact, the funny part is a lot of people said that they don't trust the National Conference either. But they thought that because the National Conference won, uh, because of, of what the PDP had been facing over the last uh, five years, uh, you know, after its alliance in 2014 with the BJP, which eventually led to President's rule and then the abrogation of Article 370. Uh, so that was something that people in Kashmir had not have still not forgiven the PDP for. So a lot of the voters thought that, you know, after the lesson that we taught the PDP, the National Conference will not dare to have anything to do with the BJP. Plus, the National Conference has an alliance, a pre-poll alliance with the Congress party. And the Congress and Rahul Gandhi will never allow the Abdullahs and the National Conference to swerve towards the BJP. So they seem what it has effectively done is turned the election into a wave for the National Conference in North Kashmir. And in that wave, the AIP in North Kashmir and the PDP in South Kashmir have been swept away. The AI, for the AIP, of course, it's a major, major loss of face. Uh, in fact, the only seat that they have managed to win is the Langate constituency, where engineer Rashid's own brother, Sheikh Khurshid, was contesting. And his victory also is by a way for thin margin. He's won by, uh, I think, 1,600 votes. Uh, for the PDP, of course, it's a much bigger blow because uh, Mehbooba Mufti lost the Lok Sabha election. Her daughter, she decided not to contest the assembly election this time. And so Mehbooba's daughter, Iltaja Mufti, made her debut from the Beach Behara seat, which is the uh, traditional, the home seat of the Muftis. And she also lost her election uh, from Bij Bahara by, I think, over 9,000 votes. Uh, and she lost it to the National Conference. So it's brought the National Conference back to dominance in the valley. It swept aside the PDP and the AIP. 
for the PDP, how it rebuilds itself now, because it's only managed to win three seats uh, in across Kashmir. You know, the, it's won the Kupwara seat, which is in uh, North Kashmir, and then it's won two more seats. I, I uh, forget the names right now, but it's won only three constituencies. So for them to rebuild, whether, you know, within the party, and this was a party that faced a split in 2021 with, uh, you know, Altaf Bukhari walking away and forming the Apni party, uh, which was seen as a BJP proxy. And so Altaf Bukhari's party has also been swept away. Uh, he himself has lost from the Chanapura constituency. So, uh, you know, how the PDP now tries to reinvent itself uh, remains to be seen, whether of the remaining PDP leaders, whether they, they will challenge, uh, you know, Mehbooba and Iltija for leadership, uh, that remains to be seen. So there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of uh, improbables, uh, a, a lot of probabilities here uh, that one will need to look at, uh, look at, you know, how they, uh, uh, how they pan out over the next uh, months or, uh, or so. Uh, but but it's clearly a very bad election for uh, both the PDP and the uh, AIP. The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all.